Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary. I do a lot of skincare reviews on my channel. So if you're interested, then please subscribe and you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. In today's video, I am going to review the Dot in Key Barrier Repair Face Cream. The price of this moisturizer is $3.95 and you get 100 grams quantity. The packaging comes in the form of this outer cardboard box and the inner packaging comes in the form of a plastic tube and it has a flip open cap. The texture of this moisturizer is thick as it contains ceramides. Some of the key ingredients of this moisturizer are Japanese rice water, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, probiotics and this formula is fragrance free and this is the complete ingredient list of this moisturizer. Now let's take a look at the claims of this product. Daily intense moisturizer for soft, supple and healthy skin. Packed with hyaluronic acid, 5 essential ceramides, probiotics and Japanese rice water. Strengthen skin barrier to make it resilient against external aggressors. Provides deep moisturization and locks it in. Heals dry, rough patches while soothing signs of irritation and itchiness. Fragrance free and dyes free formula that is ideal for normal to dry skin. Now I won't talk about my overall experience of using this moisturizer. Uh, if I compare it with the Bioderma Atoderm cream, the dot and key one is less thicker as compared to that. Uh, but it contains ceramide so it's definitely thicker and best suited for, oil, uh, for uh, normal to dry skin type people. If you have a compromised skin barrier, if you have sensitive skin, any sort of irritation on your skin, this uh, moisturizer is meant for that to repair the barrier and you know, uh, like soothe any kind of skin irritation because they've added ceramides in this one and it has a lot of healing uh, properties and soothing properties to treat compromised skin barrier. So for sens sensitive skin people, this is great. This is fragrance free as well. So there are, there are no ingredients that could be um, mildly allergic or that could cause any sort of allergic reaction. So this uh, moisturizer is great. Uh, in terms of moisturization, it definitely provides the intense and deep moisturization that dry skin people need. Especially from in the winter also it works. I love this. I love the fact that when I use this cream, I like like the fact that uh, even though it's a thick cream for dry skin but it does not you know uh, feel like excessively heavy so this is lightweight in spite of this being for dry skin it's a lightweight cream it also absorbs uh, quite quickly as compared to other heavy creams and i like the texture of this cream it's really nice and since this is lightweight in texture even though it gives uh, that moisturization that is needed for dry skin it is lightweight still and it works best to use under makeup as well so if you have dry skin and you don't want those very heavy and very uh, thick moisturizers this is perfect it will uh, moisturize the skin uh, dehydrated skin it will treat dehydrated and dull skin and at the same time it will not you know make the skin feel excessively heavy works great under makeup also and also after using this cream i uh, like the texture of the skin feels very soft and smooth and they also mentioned that it has a ph of 5.5 which is ideal for uh, for the facial skin mm, okay under additional information they say that it targets dry stretchy skin dullness and dehydration skin infection itchiness and redness and it's for compromised skin barrier which is just mentioned if your skin has any concerns of itchiness infections or redness this will work to treat those skin infections and also i noticed that a lot of uh, acne breakouts has reduced and the ones which are already there it's also healing up so this is great for uh, sensitive skin people who get regular acne breakouts and you know you are prone to getting a lot of breakouts and itchy skin and uh, redness on the facial skin sometimes the face feels very itchy because of dryness uh, when the face when your face feels itchy it's because your skin facial skin is not fully moisturized you may use there are some creams that are very thick and you can use that but it still cannot like it depends on the ingredients if the ingredients are not right and in, in the not right not right form 
if the formulation is not right the skin can still feel dehydrated and that can cause itchiness and dullness in the skin so this is a good cream it is well balanced one uh, another most important point about this moisturizer is that if you're using any kind of active in your skincare routine like a retinol or if you're using any AHA based active like uh, okay BHA like salicylic acid retinol AHA and you know any other form of peeling solutions or any sort of active in your routine this uh, can work best with that active because uh, this particular moisturizer can be paired with any active it will not cause any sort of uh, reaction or you know uh, if your skin is getting dry already because of salicylic acid or retinol this will balance out your skin's pH so this is great if you are actively using some kind of a uh, uh, serum in your skincare routine you can uh, use this moisturizer to balance out your skincare routine to balance out your skin's pH and, uh, also this uh, moisturizer can be used both in the daytime and nighttime routine it does not contain any uh, active ingredient and it does not contain any SPF so it works best for uh, daytime as well as nighttime routine so many times what happens is some people there are some creams which are only suitable for daytime if it has SPF in it you can't use it in the nighttime and there are some creams that contains like a very active ingredient like salicylic acid or retinol so that is best suited for nighttime routine so they, there are creams that is just you know uh, for a specific time of the day but this one will works best for both uh, daytime and nighttime and that's how i like my moisturizer that your skin is sensitive if your skin is dry or even normal skin type people combination skin type people can use it for oily skin people i will not recommend it will become it will feel uh, more thicker for oily skin type people so that's about it from my overall review of the dot and key barrier repair face cream I hope you found this review to be useful and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe for more such skincare reviews and you will find a lot of these videos from the description box below. And that's it from today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.